What is going on YouTube? Up and Adam here and today we have another Madden 22 video. In today's video we are going to be going over the Pro Fantasy Packs. I found a way to make some coins off of it and I want to share it with you. So before we jump into the video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that sub button and turn those notify bells on especially if you are enjoying the Madden content on the channel so far. Okay, so you all know this and I, I've been talking about it on my streams, it's all over Twitter, it's all over the Madden community. Market is completely crushed. However, I do see the possibility of some of the training going up a little bit, not a crazy amount, but a little bit with the team of the year coming very soon. They started teasing out what they're going to be doing for team of the year. We'll talk about that in another video, but that leads me to believe that there'll be re-rolls for it and the market might skyrocket for a little bit and then come back down once people get their cars that they want okay so without further ado i want to talk about how you can prepare a little bit for the playoff program but also open a ton of packs in the meantime right so we're going to go here into the players tab in the store this pack right here is called the pro fantasy pack okay you probably all seen these they going around the, the whole community they're really great but i think i found a little bit of a a way to Add some extra coins to this, okay? So you can see what you get from this pack. Four, you get the first round, you get to pick four cards out of the eight, and they're all 62 or higher. And then you'll get a second round where you can pick one card, and they'll be from like there'll be four options, and it could they're gonna be 76 or higher. Okay, so that's what you get from these packs. I'm gonna show you some data. My guy, Mark, he put together an incredible spreadsheet to make it so much easier to track what you get from these and it'll show you right away if you make coins or not so let me go ahead let me just show you a couple of these packs i just want to show you like what you get from here there's a few things that you got to do before you even start opening these packs before you jump into this so if you don't have a lot of coins i would say don't go with this because it does you do need to do quite a bit of these right but i would say like don't really go in on these if you don't have the coins to do so don't risk what you don't have right okay so that's the first thing you need to do Second thing you're going to want to do is go on to MudGG and you are going to search up. Okay, I'm going to show you right after this pack. We got an 81. That was a meh. That was like kind of like an L of a pack, but we still got an 84. So that's pretty much the basically what you're going to do. I like to open up at least like 20 to 30 of these packs. So only if you have enough coins, right? But before you jump into these packs, okay, jump onto MudGG and I'm going to show you what you need to do. You're going to be getting a ton of golds, like low golds and high golds from these packs. And it's important to just do a little bit of research before you jump in on it, okay? There's some golds going, like some low golds going for like 500, 600, 700, 800 coins. That's it. Then there's others going for 4,000. Um, a lot of them are power-ups, okay, mind you. But there are some core golds that are going for a, a decent chunk. You can see here some of these low golds, okay? Some of them are not power-ups like this. This core gold, uh, Connor Williams, is going for 4,000. The rest of them are, uh, we have BJ Finney uh, going for 4,000 as well. Okay, so you're going to do that with the 70s to 74s. Then you're going to do 75 to 79 and just sort it by price. So you can see here, oh, it says 75 and 79. And then you go down and go by price. And then you filter through. And you can see some of them are going for a decent amount, like the Jalen Hurst power-up. So in case you get a Jalen Hurst power-up and you're like, ooh, do I pick this power-up or do I pick like this gold card? right you would obviously take the power up and say and so on and so forth if you can keep a little bit of like a like track of like a little bit of a note uh with some of these gold cards it just helps just have you aware of if any of them are going for more i know it takes a little bit of while but it's still worth it okay now to the data okay i know with my videos i love to provide data to go along with my coin making method that's what i like to do i like to show you all the info and um you can so you understand your risk when you do different coin making tips okay so here's my round i opened up um 20 packs all right i was a total of 100 cards i was able to get it cost me 280,000 coins and i got back 270,000 um after tax okay so i lost 10,000 coins however that is not necessarily the case that's only the, the the case if i sold every card that i got however some of the cards I didn't sell I used I was using some of these cards to build different sets which I'll talk about soon but here's just a little bit of a breakdown of what it is if you want this for yourself and you want to track your own pulls all you need to do is go to file go to make a copy 
of this spreadsheet. I'll have it down below in the comment section. If I forget, please remind me. All right, just ask nicely. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, here it is. I tracked all my pulls. So from round one, that's what I got for this this um this pack and so on and so so forth. I got I got two nineties. You can see I got two nineties. I didn't get any eighty eights or eighty nines or ninety ones. I did get one ninety two. I got one platinum player worth eighteen thousand. It was an eighty one platinum. Um, you can see I got a ton of like elite players, like low elites. Um, and I was able to build some team builders with these cards, right? I was able to build um, a couple team builder twos and sell those for Baker Mayfield was selling for like forty thousand. So I spent like what I would normally get back would be like twenty thousand to build it. I got back instead. 40,000 coins. So I was able to make a little bit more profit. So this in general ended up making me coins. I ended up making about like 15,000. So yes, not a lot of coins for sure. I get that. But the chance of pulling an LTD that are in packs right now, at the moment, the, the team of the week are, are out. But we're also, when you see this video, the new um, signature series Thursday LTDs will be in packs. So you'll still be able to do this. Um, I only recommend opening these if there's a ton of uh, LTDs are like two LTDs in packs just so you have that chance of getting one again It's not guaranteed, but still a nice to have a chance, right? So that's the data to go along with it You can do this yourself track your own pulls here And these are this you can just change the prices of what you're selling these cards for this is what the market is looking like right now um, Obviously that can change based off of when you do it and when other people are selling and stuff like that, but you also are getting the playoff program so last year this is what the playoff program looked like, right? You needed some 89s, you need some 87s, and some 85s. Can we see those prices going up if we get something similar this time around on Friday? Maybe. They might change up the playoff program this year, but this is still a nice way to maybe prep in case. I don't really think the prices are going to come like down further on Friday, so you might as well hang on to them until Friday. And if you can use them, it's not a bad idea to go full on sell on Friday if they do go up in price then you make some extra coins as well, all right? So that is pretty much the, the basis of this method. It's not really like um, a guaranteed like coin making method by any means. Like we know when we talk about rerolls, when we talk about packs, there is always that risk of not, not pulling anything great. You know that, we, we all know that and we've all gone through that. But I do like this one just for the fact that th there is a chance of pulling an LTD right now and there's, if I don't need the cards, I can just hang on to them until maybe we use them for the playoff program or a different program moving forward, right? And then worst case scenario, I can use some of these players to build up and get the team builder twos to sell for about 40,000 because there's like Baker Mayfield's going for about four, I think 40,000 right now, like maybe a little bit less. It was going for 40 earlier when I, before I started recording this video, but, um, yeah, like by the time you see the video, it might drop a little bit depending on the market, obviously. But I don't. I also don't think the market's ever gonna fully recover uh, the way we want it to. Those team of the weeks ones always get me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, as you can see here, this is what I'm looking at. And if I know uh, if this, I know this Rob uh, Havenstein doesn't go for much. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Stephon Gilmore, take the 82, and I can use it right. And I can just track all my pulls. Um, another downside of this. This method is that it really takes up a lot of binder space really quick. I have to, I've always been cleaning out my binder constantly with this, with this pack because you get so many cards. Um, that's another thing that you can do. Again, it's, it's one of those things where you can definitely go on it and lose some coins, but you also can make a bunch, right? So it all depends. And I think it's really only like only worth it if we have uh, LTDs in packs at the moment. So there's another 80. A uh, great pack, but again, there you go. We'll open one more pack for, for the video, and then I will let you go. But I'm going to show you, I'll open one more pack, and then I'll show you what you can use some of these cards that you get. Like, if you get a ton of 80s, a ton of 83s, and a ton of 85s, if they're going for the bare minimum, and they're going to only get, like, a total of, like, 20,000 coins uh, to sell all the pieces you need for a team builder, definitely go ahead and complete the team builder. You could probably make a little bit extra from there. I'll just get those. All right, last pack here. 87 Robert Hunt or De Forrest Buckner. I'm going to go Robert Hunt. That's not a bad pull. All right, let me take you quickly. Let me take you quickly to the sets real quick, and then you can um, you can, you can go with it if you want to. If you'd rather not, that's fine as well. Let's go to sets. 
And we are going to the team builders as always, because it's always a nice time to sell these. So team affinity, team builders. Baker just got a flashback. So he was, like I said, he was going for 40,000. Whenever one of these cards gets an upgrade, try to build them right away because people don't realize they can just get it from these team builders and uh, they spend way too much just because they're lazy to build it. So you could build Baker, right? Things like that. I'm not sure if my Baker sold. I had, I think I had one up on the block for like 35 and then I had another one up for 40. Let's go have a quick peek. If it sold, I'm not sure if it did though. My auctions, and then I'll let you, uh, then we'll head out here. Let's go to newest, let's see if it sold. Baker did sell for 35,000. He did not, I didn't sell the one for 40, but I did sell it for 35, so that's okay. Anyways, that's as simple as that. Open a ton of, I would say like 20 or more uh, pro fantasy packs. Convert them, okay, put them all in the spreadsheet, see what you get, put in the prices, and you'll be all set to go. If you have a, done a ton of 80s, to 85s definitely use those to build team builders and then sell the more expensive cards make sure you're finding the right goals to pick if you need to all right so quickly pop on to mud gg i know it takes a little bit of time but we want to make coins we don't want to lose them right so there you go it is risky just to let you know but it is fun to open packs especially with ltds i'll catch you with another video very soon